Hi everyone and welcome to part one of my short video series preparing you for the release of Bioware's much anticipated new IP, Anthem. In this video we will be going over how to properly remove old video drivers and install new ones and we will also be preventing Windows from installing incorrect drivers or messing with our methods. My name is Adore and I'll be your guide today. It is likely the case that on release day of Anthem, Nvidia and AMD will have updated drivers available for you to download. This is standard practice as there are usually day one performance and visual optimizations you will want to take advantage of. Updating your video drivers with the method I'm going to show you today is what is recommended by all of the best benchmarkers and hardware experts out there, so you know you're in good hands. Like Allstate. Your video card manufacturer's installer actually does an okay job of both installations and updates. What it doesn't do though is fix underlying problems and registry errors that can crop up. These can actually accumulate over time and give you a less than satisfactory gaming experience. We're going to avoid all of those issues today by using a program which has been my go-to for years called Display Driver Uninstaller. By using this free software, we're able to ensure an optimal experience for Anthem on its release and we will not have to worry that a prior driver update or issue related to drivers is interfering with Anthem's performance. The first thing we want to do is navigate over to the manufacturer of our video card and download the latest drivers. In this case, I have an ASUS 1060 Strix Edition, and so that would mean that I would head to NVIDIA's website. When I get there, I'll want to choose drivers, and in this option here, it'll let me choose quite a few different things. I kind of already knew what, know what I'm looking for, so I'm going to choose 10 series. Um, it's a 1060, so that is definitely within the 10 series. Choose that, and then of course I'm going to choose 64-bit. If you have an operating system and you are running more than 4 gigabytes of RAM, then if I remember correctly, you are absolutely on a 64-bit operating system. Again, if you've done any kind of um, installations and updates of drivers before, you would already know this anyways. So in most cases, you're going to be choosing 64-bit. The only time you wouldn't is if you happen to go under systems look and check that your Windows uh, operating system is actually 32-bit, then of course you would choose 32-bit. But like I said, most people, especially people running Windows 10, are going to be running on 64-bit operating systems. So we're going to choose that and download the drivers. The second thing we need to do is head over to get our DDU, uh, display a driver dis bleh, dr display driver uninstaller. So we're going to head over to Google and just type in DDU and it will probably be the first link or the second link. Now the first link that I have is Guru, Guru 3D and just to make sure, just to be on the absolute safe side, I'm going to go straight to the main website, which is Wagnard Soft and download it from there. And for me, uh, the newest version will show up right here, new release and yours will as well. So I'm going to choose that and then I'm just going to choose download. Now that I have both uh, my latest drivers downloaded and I have DDU, I'm going to create navigate to my user folder. I'm going to create another folder just called DDU and inside of it, I'm going to create latest NVIDIA and latest DDU. The reason being is that I'm going to be doing this every single time that I want to update my drivers from now on. See, the reason for doing this is that a lot of times what can happen is you can download a new driver for your video card and because of what you actually experience, you can think that your card is bricked. And if you don't know these steps, you might not know that if you just go and do NVIDIA's clean install, it's usually a registry error. And so that's not going to fix the problem for you, but this absolutely will. Now, the next thing you want to do before we do anything else is we're going to head to control panel and network and sharing center. And under change adapters, we're going to disable our wireless network adapter. Well, in my case, it's wireless. If you're on a wired connection, it'd be your ethernet uh, adapter. 
but either way, you want to disable that. And the reason we're going to do this is because sometimes what can happen is when you don't have um, drivers for any device and you hook up to the internet, Windows Update, if you're on Windows, is going to try to push an update through. And sometimes it'll give you a less than stellar um, experience because it'll give you a the wrong driver. It won't give you the absolute latest sometimes. Or sometimes you'll want like the latest beta driver, for instance, and so Windows will instead push a different driver. And sometimes it can push a driver that's months prior, and that's not going to do us any good. So we absolutely want the latest drivers. So we're going to disable our internet connection first. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is navigate to um, where your you know shutdown and restart is, because what you're going to want to do is restart your computer in safe mode. Now, in order to show you what DDU looks like, I'm not going to actually restart the computer into safe mode because I'm using Shadowplay or NVIDIA's version of recording to record this, and I don't want, I wouldn't be able to if I was actually going through the whole process in safe mode. So instead, all you have to do is once you are in safe mode, which if you're on Windows 10, the easiest way to do so is go to the restart button and hold the shift key. And then it'll give you, um, when it restarts, it'll give you the option of like, do you want to reset or advanced options? And you're going to choose advanced options, right? And then there's going to be quite a few options on there. One of them is going to be a UEFI thing, but you don't want that. You want this other recovery options if you're on the latest Windows. And you click that, and then it's going to give you a startup settings option. That's what you want. And then you're going to hit, in my case, it'd be the four key on the numpad in order to restart in safe mode. And just to be on the safe side, we're going to do it without networking. Once you have restarted into safe mode, you can now follow the next steps. You're going to want to navigate to the folder where you put DDU and you're going to have want the latest DDU, which we've of course already extracted out. You're going to right click it and choose run as administrator. You always, always, always want to run as administrator because sometimes there are things that without administrator permissions, the software isn't going to work correctly. This is a case with a lot of software. Um, if you're running like Uplay or Origin or something like that, you always want the main client, not the games themselves, to be run in administrator, but that's a topic for another day. So choose run as administrator and it's going to give you the option over here of your GPU. Now recently they did add Intel into here, but since you're running Anthem, I'm pretty sure there's no integrated graphics that would allow you to do that. And I'm specifically addressing both AMD and Nvidia for this video. So I don't know anything about Intel or how that would work. But since I have an Nvidia card, I'm going to choose Nvidia under the GPU drive um, drop down. So choose that, whichever one it is. Again, if you're running AMD, then AMD. And over here, if you had a brand new graphics card, completely new, and you had old drivers from a previous graphic card, then what you would want to do is choose this option that says clean and shut down. And then it would do the clean, the normal clean setup that's going to do, and it would shut down your computer. So you could turn it back on with the brand new graphics card that you installed, and then you would download the drivers. But if you already had them or whatever, of course, then you would just install them. What we're going to do is choose the top one here, which is the clean and restart option. So we click that and we're just going to let it go through the whole process and it's going to restart a computer. Now that computer is restarted, before turning on your network adapter again, you want to navigate to the folder where we put all of our stuff. We're going to choose the latest NVIDIA driver. We're going to click on that. We're going to run as administrator. It's going to pull everything up. And it's going to ask us, do we want to include a uh, GeForce experience? I'm going to because I use it for recording and such, but you don't have to. Either way, choose the option you want there. And then on the next thing, I just to be on the safe side, although it's completely irrelevant kind of because what we just did is a real clean install. We're still going to choose custom and then just clean install there. And this also allows you if there was anything that maybe you didn't want, like physics or something, you could remove that from there. But honestly, just for the purposes of this, just choose clean install, leave everything as default, and click next. Once this is done, you're going to want to do the next step, which of course is if you've ever installed any new drivers, you should always restart your computer. So I would recommend that next. So go ahead and restart your computer. You don't have to restart in save mode or anything like that because we already did the full restart or whatever. Just restart your computer. And when it loads back up, there are two things we need to do. 
The first thing we're going to do is turn our network adapter back on by navigating to control panel, network and sharing center again, and of course over to the change adapters. I'm gonna right click my um, wireless network adapter, which is actually built into my motherboard, which is awesome. I have an AORS master. I love this motherboard. This is a brand new build. I'm very, very happy about it. Right click that and choose enable. Now we have our network adapter working again. The last thing we're going to do is either go down to your taskbar and the little arrow and find the NVIDIA uh, icon there and double click it to open up NVIDIA's control panel. Or on your desktop, you can right click, choose NVIDIA control panel from there. We're going to go to the 3D settings option right here. And we're going to go in and there's a little option that says optimal power right now. Sometimes the graphics card will not get enough power and then you can run into some kind of frame rate issues and such. So we're going to change this to maximum performance. And the only reason you would actually use the optimum power is if you're on like a laptop or something else in which you absolutely need to save power, then you would choose that option. But again, in most cases, you're going to want to choose maximum performance here. Then just click apply. And then the last little bonus thing that I'll throw in here is that one thing I like to do is just head to my color options, which is right here, the advanced color options, and there's a little vibrancy thing and it's set to 50. I always set it to 60. You don't have to. I feel like you just get slightly better, more saturated colors. It's kind of a personal preference thing, but go ahead and switch that. I have three different monitors, so I'll switch it to 60 on all of them and hit apply. But anyway, it's up to you completely what you do with that. You don't have to use it, but like I said, it's just what I prefer. And with Anthem's demo and such, I felt like the game looked a little better, of course, because as I said, for me personally, I really like my vibrancy turned up just slightly. Thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this video, and hopefully now you're set up to have an optimal experience playing Anthem on release day. Like the video if you liked it, and if you didn't, there's a button down below you can click instead. Also, don't forget to comment if you have any issues or need advice, and please click the subscribe button to subscribe for more gaming videos and guides. But don't forget to ring the bell, because if you don't ring the bell, then you won't hear from me very often. Sad face. Please share the video everywhere, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, bye bye